as you can see we're at the marina the boat's still out the water luckily um, it's due to go in any time soon so while it's out let's go and have a walk around and we're going to see some of the work we've had done so one of the things that got flagged up on the survey was the bow thruster tube uh, this was basically just to get it inspected mainly because the bow thruster tube apparently is a big cause of boat sinking these grills are sometimes welded on and that stops you getting access into the bow thruster tube for protecting it so we've had it inspected everything was fine with it we've had it blacked as you can probably make out and we've had two sacrificial anodes put in uh, and that's all good to go now so that was one of the jobs that needed doing on the outside the other was the stern post needed a bit of welding so we'll go to the back of the boat and have a look at that we'll have a little look down it as you can see she doesn't look too bad So this is the stern post, as you can see where it's been blacked, we, the very edge of it down here has had a little bit of welding done to it, um, it's nothing major at all, um, it was just while it was out get it done, so as you can see that's been done and re-blacked, and that is pretty much it, them was the only two jobs that needed doing on the outside of the boat, everything else was in perfect order. So uh, that was really good. We'll have a walk down the other side. So she's due to go back in the water very soon. So we'll, we'll try and get some uh, camera footage of that if we're allowed to. Hopefully we are and uh, we'll get some footage of her going back in the water.
Right, so that was a successful launch. Why not come inside now and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at some of the work we've got and uh, give you a guided tour. Okay, so this is a view, as you can see from the stern of the boat, looking down, all 70 foot of her. Let's go and look inside. Alright, there's a bit of a bit of a squeeze down here. So let's have a look. We've got the instrument panels, bow thrusters at the top, the mouse controller for the engine, the throttle, engine controls, fuel tank gauge, water tank gauge, and a distribution board. Coming around, we've got a built-in DynaWatt generator, battery charger, and an inverter. Normally here, we have a 12 volt freezer, but that's been took out because we've had some piping change around on the engine. So that's why uh, that's been took out, just to get easier access into the engine bay. So coming in, through the engine room, we enter the kitchen. As you can see, nice amount of cupboards for what we need. It's nice and bright and airy. Houdini hatch, which was leaking. This is another job we've had done. There's our 12 volt freezer. It doesn't live there. That's where it'll be in the engine room. We have a shoreline 12 volt fridge. Coming through into the living room and dinette area. Excuse the uh, bits and pieces that we've moved in with. So again, it's quite nice and bright and airy at the moment. Going to have a settee or something down here. And the TV will be over here. And our fantastic stove, which is a morsel squirrel with a diesel conversion. So uh, we'll see how we get on with that. Come with me. Okay, spare room. Or oh, this is going to be a little office room, storage room, something like that. We haven't completely decided yet. But, yep, yeah, that's this room. Through into our walkthrough bathroom. And there's me in the mirror. Hi guys, sink, Thetford cassette toilet, and a nice big shower cubicle, a nice shower in there, that's all nice. Through into the bedroom, which isn't my cup of tea colour wise, but you know, some people will like it. Two single mattresses. All fold out this makes a super king size um, bed with plenty storage underneath and out to the well deck which is filled with all the stuff that we're moving in with so not much to show you there Well, there you go guys, it's been a busy day, we've loaded lots of vans, unloaded lots of vans, the boat's now got everything on, so we're going to spend the rest of this evening and probably the next few days, weeks, um, getting everything put away, finding a home for everything, getting everything sorted. Um, once it's done and we're settled in, I'll probably do another guided tour video and show you exactly what we've done after we've done a few of the little jobs, which I'll probably make a few videos of. So all that's left for me to do now is sign off and say thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when we're releasing more videos. And thank you for watching.